What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, back at it with the next video, and today taking a look at some La Luna attacks, Town Hall 10, 11, and 12. It just seems to be what's working right now, and um, we've had a shift away from Lalo in the past, but recently I've seen a lot of nice triples with it, and there's some interesting new types of variations, stuff that we haven't exactly seen before, um, although some of it is familiar. So we're going to be going through all of it today in this video, telling you guys what works best at your specific Town Hall level. Starting at the top, Town Hall 12 here, and guys, um, if you've been watching my channel, haven't been uploading as much, but... Um, somewhat recently, I've uh, been put out, putting out some videos on Town Hall 12 Hog Attacks, and this is very similar, and I think it kind of shows the key at Town Hall 12 right now. Against a lot of bases, it comes down to if the Town Hall is exposed, using your heroes, your king and your queen, just to take it out, Sui hero attack, and then you can Lalo or Hog the rest. That's what seems to be working right now, because the Hogs are pretty strong, and then also here we go with the Lalo. Um, very strong as well. The Laloon's a little bit more flexible uh, when you're doing a Sui hero attack, because it can take on you know a, a wider part of the base. The Hogs can be a little trickier, because you have to heal them, they're a little more fragile, um, and it's also hard to use the Stone Slammer, whereas with this, the Stone Slammer fits in very nicely, because it's basically a big balloon itself. So the Stone Slammer actually was dropped pretty early and still is has not gone down. I don't think it will this entire attack almost, maybe at the very end. There actually was an E-Drag and a few balloons in it. And that seems to be what's working best is we're seeing, you know, Sui the heroes to get the Town Hall because a lot of bases the Town Hall is relatively uh, close to the outside. So you can use your heroes to get it. Um, and then from there, you, uh, you start the Lalo and then you use a Stone Slammer with and an E-Drag in it, and you can kind of drop that during the Lalo or a little bit before the Lalo. We'll see lots of different attacks, so you guys will see what I mean. But the E-Drag can take out the Queen if needed. In this case, there was also a Skeleton spell to make sure the Queen went down, and that's what actually took her out. Um, but you can use the E-Drag to take out, like, the Eagle, to get an Inferno Tower, to kind of help um, complement the La Luna uh, part of the attack. So... That being said, we'll move on see some more examples. Uh, the Slammer just stayed a Stone Slammer for most of that attack, so moving right along here. Um, number three, they, ha they have a lot of Town Hall 12 triples already uh, in this war, so uh, hopefully we can match them a little bit as we get towards the back half of it. But anyway, um, next attack... This one also Sui Hero La Loon, and I believe this one you'll see a little bit different use of the of the Stone Slammer and of the E Drag inside of it. So heroes go down, taking this stuff out, nice pathing. The king comes around, tanking for the queen as you want it. I would have liked to see a wizard like right up there, but you know, oh well. Um, queen comes around, she'll target this uh, wizard tower, and then here comes a test loon for seeking air mines, then a Stone Slammer on top of the Inferno Tower. Um, so it gets that in front of the heroes can't reach. That's how the base is set up to make it so the heroes can't reach. But if you clear out the buildings around it, you can directly target the Inferno Tower with your Stone Slammer. And then out comes the E-Drag to kill both the Queen and the Eagle. So some great value was there. It's just about a, it's a matter of knowing how to get that value. Because you have the Queen, you have the Inferno Tower. I think there's also was an air defense there. You have the Eagle, which is actually very important for La Luna attacks. All of that's there. It's just a matter of how are you going to get that value, how are you going to take it out efficiently. And in this case, it came down to using the heroes first to clear stuff out, then coming in later with that Stone Slammer. I think we'll see another attack similar to that as well. A great freeze on the Town Hall right as it lights up, and also freezes the air defense. And then the balloons are right there, Warden's ability, um, they're protected, so or most of them are protected. Uh, moving to the back end, another freeze value and then we'll see a heal spell to cover those balloons as they move into the inferno tower uh, fast forward a little bit that air defense doesn't quite go down but there's still enough balloons up uh, the level 40 warden is what it will be this is only level 34 uh, but the warden's going to be even stronger as he gets to that max level um, get some good value over the town hall or wherever you're going to be using um, your warden's ability because we saw uh, in the first attack, you know, using the heroes to take out the warden, but or not the warden, the town hall. But in this case, you can, if you have the warden's tome, you can take out the town hall with your balloons. As long as the town hall is activated, you need to take out 50% of the base or somehow damage it. 
uh, but the balloons will not target it unless it becomes a defense. So keep that in mind. Um, you might have to use an earthquake even in certain situations, which is not ideal, but you might need to use that to activate the town hall so your balloons will stop and attack it. Okay, having said that, moving on to some of our attacks, uh, Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 10. This one, um, somewhat of a standard, um, what's the word, Electron attack, using the, in this case, the Battle Blimp, just to get as far into the base as possible. You can use the Stone Slammer as well if the pathing is there, but in this case, gotta get, this, uh, gotta get the E Dragon deep enough to really get that value. Bunch of test balloons, gonna soak up all these seeking air mines that are there. That's how you want to do it. And then has two clones plus the rage plus a freeze, which has become somewhat popular. Um, in this case, a poison might have even been nice to take out some of those air skellies, make it a little nicer uh, on the E dragon so they can target the fences right away and also slow down the queen. Uh, but the freeze goes down, gets Almost both expos, only gets one, uh, but gets the queen, so taking some damage off the E-drags. I guess there's some value there, not, not sure exactly how to feel about that. But there's no air defenses hurting them. Taking out a bunch of the base here, and uh, they'll get that expo. And then last but not least, they'll get those air sweepers, which are actually very important, because both of them can potentially uh, slow down this Lalo. So last thing they get before they disappear comes in with the Lalo. Um, fortunately hits that Tesla farm right away so it gives it taken out early while the balloons are still healthy and then moving through for both these Inferno Towers I believe um, Warden's ability here? Are we gonna see it? Maybe he's saving it. I forget where it's used. Yeah it looks like just kinda hold steady with the hastes going through here. Lava Hounds do a great job tanking and uh, moving towards the back end we'll see the Warden's ability right there as they shoot ahead towards those Wizard Towers. Um, yeah, great great tanking from that Lava Hound, and a bunch of these Expos were on ground, which made this an even uh, easier attack, so that helped for sure. We got one Balloon on that Eagle, I don't know if it gets taken out or not, the Eagle is very high in terms of hit points, uh, but there's only a Wizard Tower on that Balloon. So, um, very close, not, not quite, I think maybe the Lava Pop, nope, the Eagle is still up. It looks like this was actually pretty close, but the Lava Pups come in, the Warden's in there as well, and he actually is pretty tanky when he's only being targeted by some, like, Wizard Tower or stuff like that, so um, wasn't too close in the end here, just because the Warden was still alive with a bunch of Lava Pups and minions, um, but looks like all but one of the balloons went down. Anyway, um, good stuff, we'll take a look at one, uh, I think that was the only Town Hall 11 replay we're taking a look at today. As I've said in the past, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, both very similar. You just have the Town Hall uh, being a defense is the only only difference, really. So that, that can often uh, require you to use your Heroes or your Warden's Tome, as I've said. Either one to uh, deal with the Town Hall on a Lalo attack. Okay, um, some Sui Hero action, Lalo at Town Hall 10, because a lot of you guys are still Town Hall 10s out there. And believe it or not, uh, even with the damage increase, this bowler can still take out those uh, collectors before the um, before the mortar gets it. And actually, right now it's walking around dodging those uh, mortar shells, which is kind of cool. So the heroes come in, king, queen, uh, trying to get like two air defenses really, and also kind of break off some pathing here. Now, just the way it goes, the queen goes up north and ignores that air defense, so. That's going to be another obstacle that's going to have to be dealt with. So really, this attack was funny because there wasn't even like the best luck, best execution, whatever you want to call it. Um, the value is like decent here, but really like not everything goes well. I mean, the queen's not going to even die towards the very end. I think the skelly spell won't get her because she, got, she has both those bomb towers protecting her. Um, but it shows Town Hall 10, you know, somewhat lopsided in the attacker's favor. And um, this is definitely a good strategy to use just to kind of overpower a base. Coming at it from all angles, the Slammer's able to deal with like one section on its own. It's the air defense, gets some other defenses uh, moving in. And then the balloons pretty much all over the bottom right of the base here. Cutting across, has uh, no air defenses left up. So the Lava Hounds are kind of sitting there with the balloons. That's why you want the heal spell for an area like that. Um, unfortunately, the balloons kind of split out of the rage and the heal, as does the queen. So those uh, skeletons are not able to take her out. Um, they're just going to kind of stay in the core and fight the king there. Uh, but there's enough balloons at the back end with that haste spell to take out the wizard tower. And then everything's going to converge in here towards the queen at the very end. 
Um, actually, she goes down to those lava pups, maybe? No, not quite. Um, yeah, they're going to have to cut in towards the end here, but there's enough time to get it done. So nice attack. Like I said, Town Hall 10, definitely an attacker's game at the moment. Um, number 33, though, one more to take a look at. This one was a nice one by Sanatello, and once again we have the skeleton spell being used. Going for some bowler bounces on this mortar here. Don't think it'll actually go down to the bowler bounces. Uh, just kind of weakens it and then has a hog. Okay, there we go. The hog will take it out with like one. Oh, no, it needs two shots from the hogs. I guess. There you go, guys. If you're ever trying to bowler bounce a mortar down off an army camp, you need two swings from a hog in addition to take it out. If you're curious at Town Hall 10. Uh, so, unfortunately, that's not going to go down. The idea here is to wall break in and to have the queen come in for the inferno tower also an air defense conveniently there so in a way this is kind of like a very old school town hall 10 attack where you try to sneak your queen in to get an inferno tower taken out back when infernos were like extremely extremely important before uh back when they blocked heal spell stuff like that so right here gets the inferno tower taken out pretty much all the heroes are going to get. They do lure out the CC, unfortunately, but that's not going to be a huge issue. Um, in the future, I think um, it's a good idea to drop like an archer on the town hall over there, draw the lava hound away across there, because the lava hound will do two things um, along with the balloon and the CC. Uh, first of all, if the balloon's close to the queen, it'll protect her from the skeletons. It'll just drop those bombs and kill your skeletons in huge numbers with that splash damage. And also, if your lava hounds or your lava pups rather, and your minions get caught up on the lava hound, um, they're going to destroy it, and it's going to take a lot of time, and it might even kill a bunch of your pups once the lava hound explodes. So keep that in mind. But I guess if you're going to use the skeleton spell anyway. It's already going to attract the hound and the balloon, but an archer can kind of pull them away for the time being, so they have to travel a long distance to get back. So keep that in mind, archers are good to have sometimes. But uh, yeah, a ton of balloons left up, the Lala was fairly straightforward, and uh, we will fast forward to the end. And that's it guys for this video, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and like I said, look to use some Lalo uh, in your next uh, war attacks, and um whatever town hall le level you are going forward. So that'll do it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.